Good afternoon. My name is Theoharis Tsutsos. I'm professor in the Technical University of Crete in the Renewable and Sustainable Energy uh, Systems Lab. And I'm working for uh, the last uh, 30 years on sustainable energy and mobility projects. Uh, in the, my first slide, but I, you can see uh, you can see the um, pictures of uh, of uh, some metropolitan cities in the east, and I'm wondering if this is, will be our our uh, dystopic future. Uh, so, in order to to take into account very seriously uh, climate change, um, the European Commission has implemented several activities. We know what. We, all we us who know that uh, Europe is the global leader on this kind of activities, and uh, very recently uh, announced uh, um, a Green Deal policy towards uh, climate uh, neutral uh, Europe by 2050. Mm, the plan has has integrated several uh, uh, ambitious uh, targets. Or, uh, such as 90% reduction of greenhouse emissions and uh, 1 million transit stations um, by 2025 and um, 13 million vehicles. Um, yes. Uh, this is the big picture, take into account the solarity, uh, the situation, um, the current situation or the future situation of the islands. These are pictures from uh, from from uh, winter time 2019 Creta. Uh, climate change, uh, natural uh, disasters, and in the next slide, you can see summertime uh, uh, expectations and what the, really the next summertime guests have seen in on the island. So, uh, islands have to face very, very extreme cases, uh, and but, uh, but the, the guests would like very calm, and this is very, 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 very comfort, very, very usual. Uh, uh, I would like to show you some, some, some details of. Uh, uh, project, very important project for us, called Civita Destinations, supported by Horizon 2020. The project was implemented uh, in, 20, in 12 countries, plus China, and uh, participated 29 partners from, uh, from several countries of Europe. Uh, the, 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 the lighthouse uh, cities were uh, Fusal from Madeira, Las Palmas from Gran Canaria, uh, Malta from, uh, uh, from Malta Valletta, Elba, Rethno from Crete, and um, uh, Limassol from Cyprus. The main goal was uh, to demonstrate, to show uh, solutions, mobility, uh, mobility solutions based on the policy, or real policy, on uh, real local policies, to change the mindsets of citizens and stakeholders. Um, and to, to create a, a, a new image, or to prove the image, eco image of the cities, and also to, to be um, this lighthouse examples for other cities also. Under this umbrella, uh, we have created uh, several uh, live labs in the streets, uh, live labs for uh, citizens, live, uh, live labs for, uh, for guests, um, and um, it was really a fantastic process. Um, um, due, due to COVID uh, this year, we have realized it in a virtual way, um, and we hope next year will be also uh, in, in the streets and uh, talking with people and um, getting feedback uh, from different uh, mobility choices in the city. Um, we have also organized a. a, a cooperation with schools. More than 3,000 children 
uh, have uh, uh, educated on uh, eco mobility and uh, safety uh, in the city and outside the schools. And uh, it was really a great experience for all of us. Uh, another uh, activity was uh, to create uh, apps. Uh, one of these apps is in the screen, called so called uh, Green Your Drive. And um, um, yeah, this was a, a testing system to about the knowledge how drive we how ecologically we drive. Uh, Rethno was the first city in in, in Greece where uh, the the electric bus fully electric bus was integrated in the transport system by the, uh, the transport operator Bell. And also uh, the first uh, municipality in, in Greece uh, which uh, has uh, procured an uh, electric car, full electric car for the technical services. Also in Rethmon uh, we organized an uh, exhibition and we installed uh, three charging stations where the, three, the first three public stations in Creta and um, um, we uh, created some some kind of movement for electrical mobility. Uh, we know very well that now electrical mobility is part of the main uh, of the main policy of the main national policy for to promote uh, electric e mobility. Uh, also, as most of you know, um, there were electric bikes, uh, scooters. In, um, in several places. Also, uh, during the last uh, two years, um, there were um, some, some some electric uh, bikes in Las Palmas, and also in Ethno, in other, and also almost uh, in all uh, participated cities. However, um, the electrical system of of this of uh, uh, of our islands is mainly based on uh, on uh, fossil fuels so uh, practically these uh, electrical cars electrical scooters electrical bikes they they consume uh, mainly conventional fuels uh, in, in, for instance in creta you can see in the pictures uh, the stations power stations of creta um, we consume 78 uh, percent uh, fossil fuels. So, and only 22% is renewable energy sources. For sure, we have to increase it and uh, we we know very well that uh, maybe in the future, in the visible future, Creta will be 100% dynamically independent and uh, on um, dynamically independent and uh, uh, use, by using green energy, renewable energy sources, exploiting also the interconnection with continental Greece. Uh, another example of our work is that we have put a network of uh, monitoring stations uh, to for traffic load and uh, to, to, to monitor and to uh, assess the environmental conditions, uh, uh, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, um, uh, nitrogen dioxide, uh, uh, hydrocarbons, etc. And we have created models to, to see uh, which is the impact of the traffic and the quality of environment in the city. And uh, Rethmo is a very, very clear city, is for, is for sure. Uh, um, to, to, to have put also some, some electronic uh, monitoring systems inside cars, in some number of cars, and um, to, to see how ecologically um, the drivers uh, use these cars inside the city, Rethmo, this is uh, some 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 results with, uh, from from this performance, and um, and uh, we can uh, translate this performance in so to uh, emissions uh, by using these cars. Um, COVID was a big uh, a big issue. Um, we are inside the COVID uh, let's say, era. Uh, and um, the impact in mo on mobility was very was huge. Uh, for instance, um, by using uh, satellite uh, pictures, 
uh, we can see how how is um, uh, how was uh, um, France um, during uh, March uh, 19, uh, 2019 and March 2020. The same for Italy. Uh, less cars, less pollution. This is very, let's say, very promising image. Uh, all of us, we know that uh, maybe during the next period of, or the current period of COVID, we have some elements of uh, what we call rebound effect. The situation is coming back, um, but uh, we have to learn and uh, to use and exploit lessons learned uh, from uh, from uh, from this from the COVID period. We have uh, made a, a, a study to see the, 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 the impact uh, of, uh, of uh, lockdown on, um, on mobility. Uh, as you can see in the picture, we have uh, um, during the first week in, of the lockdown in Greece, uh, almost 30% uh, less uh, movement uh, by using uh, car as a passenger to the safety, of course. It's the same, uh, more or less, with bus. And bus is, um, is also an issue how to solve and how to improve the safety uh, for the society. For sure, uh, vaccine will improve. All of us will prove that uh, everything will be changed. Sunplus uh, is another uh, Civitas project uh, which uh, uh, in which we participate. Um, uh, the aim is how to create uh, a, 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 an efficient, sustainable and mobility plan for small uh, cities uh, with seasonal uh, uh, tourism. Um, the, the city to apply is uh, um, Platanias of, of Hania. As an indicator, Platanias is a municipality with 21 residents and 21,000 residents and 25,000 beds. Uh, for Platanias, uh, we have already integrated or tried to integrate in the mobility in different activities, which is agrofood, is uh, education um, and uh, logistics. Uh, especially with congestion during the peak uh, season, and uh, of course tourism, which is the main industry with a growing trend. Uh, um, trying to, 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 to create this, uh, this sum, this, uh, this uh, sustainable urban mobility plan, uh, we have already um, organized uh, meetings with uh, all um, major stakeholders of the island of the uh, of the area like uh, the, um, the region of of uh, of creta uh, the um, transport operator police uh, association of citizens association of uh, tourism suppliers etc etc suburbs um these are some 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 uh, maps uh, how to, to to we put uh, all the information um, in a geographical way and uh, to present it to the stakeholders and to citizens and to see the response from them um it's the same here different models uh, try to see uh, the system not only by by one measure but as a total for instance um, our interest is not only to create one pedestrian or a, a, a bike uh, pathway but uh, um, to see uh, which would be also the impact of this measure in the full operation of of the city and these are pictures from this uh, uh, for the for, from from these activities in platanias in closing this presentation, I would like to, 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 to put some issues. Uh, first of all, uh, let's think uh, how to integrate this experience from COVID as uh, an opportunity for climate change. Um, the agenda, we can think that environment, a sustainable environment is high priority uh, for the islands because this is our product. Seasonal fluctuation makes this uh, very, very complicated uh, to, for them to, to design and to, 
to use and to maintain the infrastructure. Uh, also, uh, uh, the islands, in most of the cases, are missing resources and capacity and uh, uh, to degrade the green deal. And uh, also, in most of the cases, um, um, the tourism sector is composed by small uh, businesses, family businesses. So, to understand and to change the performance towards sustainable mobility and uh, energy, new energy directions and um, European Commission policies is rather uh, complex. Thank you very much for, for your time and I hope that uh, this presentation was um, useful for uh, some of you.